Hey everyone, we're at the EVGA suite now at Computex 2018. We had a couple of requests via Twitter for this. This is OC Robot. So EVGA has an update coming for BIOS for X299 Dark motherboards probably in July. And a couple of the things they're doing include auto overclocking, and then they've also just got a complete overhaul of the interface in general. Before that, this video is brought to you by the CableMod Vertical GPU Adapter, a universal kit that lets you add a vertical GPU mount to almost any enclosure. The vertical GPU adapter positions video cards further back from the glass than most stock vertical GPU mounts, aiding in thermals, and also easily sockets into the PCIe expansion slots of compatible cases. The adapter kit is brand new and makes it easy to show off video cards even in cases that don't include a stock vertical GPU mount. Learn more at the link in the description below. So for the main thing here, what we have on screen right now is I just let it run in auto OC. I'll show you how it works in a moment. And the end result was the thing just kind of stress tested in BIOS without having to reboot into Windows. Stress tested itself with something I'm told is similar to Prime 95, maybe FFTs or something like that. And all we're doing is stressing the CPU. So it's pushing frequency, voltage, and checking against temperature. So the end result, this is a 280 CLC for reference. Literally, that's the name of the product from EVGA. And uh, 4.5 gigahertz at 1.273 volts is actually not too bad. The temperature is going to be the main limiter here. So as you progressively increase your cooler size or capacity, it will change the frequency and voltage at which you can run a stable overclock, depending on what's looked up in a massive matrix. So it's all kind of a huge lookup table that will step up the frequency to the max stable frequency and then try to step down the voltage to the minimum stable voltage without crashes, which is just where you want to be. So typically speaking, this kind of thing is going to be not quite as good as a manual overclock, but if you can get pretty close to a manual overclock, it's a good way to get a starting point before you do fine tuning on, on your own. One note here though, this is a bit different from some of the auto overclock buttons we've seen on other motherboards where it's basically a lookup table with maybe three or four settings and that's kind of it. So I'm looking forward to testing this hands-on sometime soon because it does look promising. The other items here, so under the extras tab, you drop it down. If you don't want to do the OC robot setup and you want to actually overclock it yourself, you can still do that, except when you drop down, it's got a built-in stress test. The same this uses, so as you continue uh, working on fine-tuning your own overclock manually, you're able to do in BIOS stress tests, which if it works just as well as Prime, then that's great because it saves a ton of time rebooting into Windows each time. If it goes unstable, even freezes in BIOS, it's a quick restart to get back into BIOS. So that's the July BIOS update for EVGA dark motherboards. As you can see, the entire interface also changed a bit, but the options should remain the same other than OC Robot, Auto OC, and the uh, over, other overclocking stress testing features we talked about. EVGA also has an X299 dark mini micro ATX motherboard, excuse me. So we'll have some information on that, some B-roll, and then I'll have some VRM information that we'll link in the description below once we get an article up if you're curious about what VRM that motherboard's gonna be using. So as always, subscribe for more. Go to patreon.com slash gamersnexus. Help us out directly. Thank you for watching. I'll see you all next time.